Hey guys, welcome back to some more Football Manager 2017 and episode 5 of the Sunland Project and today we have the Barclays Premier League match against West Bromwich Albion. So, before we get into things, let's have a look at the last few matches since the last episode, which was that 3-1 defeat to Liverpool. And as you can see, it's still been up and down. We then went on to lose 2-0 against the then league leaders Tottenham. Um, you know, I, I think... It was a bit of a poor performance from us. We could have maybe snatched a couple of goals uh, from Jermaine Defoe, but in the end, a poor performance. But then we then bounced back with a 2-0 victory against Crystal Palace, Yusuf Malumbu and Jermaine Defoe on the score sheet. And then we were 2-1 up at Stamford Bridge through goals with Jermaine Defoe and Wabi Kazri. But unfortunately, late on, we lost it through goals from a Willian and a Jack Rodwell own goal. We then bounced back with a 1-0 victory against Southampton. I was very pleased with that away from home at St Mary's. Uh, Jermaine Defoe on the score sheet there. Should have beat Burnley, but we lost 1-0. Cadamore getting sent off in that match. And most recently we won 3-2 against West Ham with Malumbu getting to and Sebastian Larson also on the score sheet. So what does that mean for the Barclays Premier League table if me mouse decides to work? Well, we are in 13th position, a comfortable mid-table. Four points ahead of the relegation zone. Um, is that? Is, yeah, that's right. Uh, four points ahead of the, the relegation zone. Look at the goal swing, though. 26 Middlesbrough are down. We're only down seven at the moment. We do score a fair few goals, but we're also... Well, no, we're about average in terms of goals. Um, looking towards the top, Man United ahead in the table, uh, West Ham up there as well, uh, so that's a good victory against West Ham. Let's have a look at squad performances then, top goal scorer is of course Jermaine Defoe with 9, then Wabi Kazri with 5, Yanazai 3, Malumbu 3, uh, another striker in January is definitely needed. Top assists is uh, Wabi Kazri with 4, Mankio there with 3. Um, and then there's Van Aanholt and Defoe with two. And uh, yeah, that's that's that. Uh, I need to add in average rating to this, so let's let's do that now. Stats average rating, and there we go. So top average rating is uh, John O'Shea, in fact, with a 7.45. But uh, Jason Denier with a 7.21 and Mankiel with a 7.18. Malumbu's done well, well since he's come in. Pappy's doing all right. Kierkov, uh, Kazri, and Van Aanholt. Uh, but unfortunately, Kierkov's contract expires at the end of the season, and I don't think he wants to renew it. So uh, we'll be saying goodbye to him probably at the end of the season. But he is. Uh, how old is he? Where's Kierkov? Where are you? Oh, there he is. 26 years old, so that, that's quite a big loss. But let's have a look at the chosen team for today. Obviously, um, we are struggling in terms of fitness, uh, which is a bit of an issue. But we'll see what we can do. Um, that's the best I can come up with. Pickford in goal, Jones, Denaya, Kone and Van Aanholt in defence. Paddy McNair sitting in front of the defence with Catamol and Osman just in front. And then Pinar, Borini and Defoe form a front three. So here we go. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully we can get a victory. Uh, it is going to be difficult though against West Brom. But they are plum last in the Premier League. So hopefully we can do the dirty on them and get all three points. It really would help us. Uh, in our quest for survival this season. So come on Sunland, let's get a victory for episode 5. Uh, we obviously need our first victory in a live com as well, um, otherwise the curse will continue. So yeah, do for that reason. That's away, here's Rondon. Oh, good tackle by McNair. Uh, I have been impressed by McNair when he's been in the squad. Um, he's just a bit of a fringe player at the moment. As you can see, I'm getting quite scared here. <clears throat> we have a couple of defenders that are lacking fitness and that's not good. Obviously, uh, I assume West Brom are, are feeling the same effects. But here's Defoe trying to use his pace early on. Now Pickford. Forward to Pino. Now Osman. Borini. Borini over the bar. Unlucky. 
And look, here's McNair. Now Borini forwarded to four. Oh, yeah. that's a foul. It's a foul. I thought it was offside, but it's a foul. And we've got a penalty, number nine. I think that's Borini. He has a go, and it's a missed penalty. Oh, dear, Borini. Oh, what are you doing, mate? That's the second penalty he's missed, and, and two big penalties he has missed as well. Into the middle. Uh, now here's Billy Jones. Denier. Here's McNair, Osman. Pienaar, Defoe. Defoe! Oh! What a chance that was. Unlucky. In the middle. Here's Defoe. Osman. Defoe off the bar. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, it's a way by Denier, but un I, I honestly can't believe this. This is ridiculous. Just like the last game. Um, well, not the last game. The... That was all before last, but here's uh, Defoe, yes, he puts it in the back of the net and it's 1-0, that's what we're talking about, his 10th goal of the season, what a goal that is, I was just about to say, it's getting like the game against Swansea where we absolutely dominate but managed to lose, but what a goal that is from Jermaine Defoe, he puts us 1-0 ahead and that'll see us go up the table to about 12th, I think, or 11th in fact, so very, very good to see that. Um, and we're level on points with the champions Leicester as it stands but uh, obviously a long way to go in this match um, and we know fine well that the defence is a little bit shaky at the best of times so this uh, might not be ideal Pinar's got a little bit of uh, a knock uh, Borini's not having a good game um, but we will keep them going for now just because you know, the other players are absolutely shattered. Here's Pina. That's forward to Van Arnold. That's away. Oh, another set piece. Another set piece. I really can't believe this. I am going to have to just look into it and, and try and sort this set piece thing out. Um, that's over the bar. Forward. Oh, good save by Pickford. Phillips into the middle. It's away by Catamol. Now he has Defoe. Gonna have to make a change here. Pienaar. Catamol. Osman. Oh, Borini again. Wasting his chance. We'll bring Wabi Kazri on. Game changer, perhaps. Um, and Yanazai, why not? We'll change the, the roles. Um... Yanazai to an inside forward, and that'll do. So come on, Sunderland, let's get that winner. It's going to be difficult, though. But he, oh, come on. Come on. Oh. Hal Robson Carnu sticks it in the back of the net. 2 1 West Brom. And, yeah, we were. You know, flying high at half time and now it's it's really kicking in. This is gonna be a long hard fight against relegation, it really is. These are the sort of games we need to try and pick up victories if we can. And it just keeps the the momentum sort of switching one way and the other and another live com where we haven't got the victory. But here's Yana's eye. Uh, can we get something out of the game? We really want to get something. Uh, I don't think we deserve to to get nothing from the game. Uh, West Brom have definitely been the better team in the second half, but well, that's a way. Uh, and it looks like this game's going to fizzle out unless we can get a counter attack here at the end, but it doesn't look like it. Jones though, he has McNair forwarded to four. Nah, that's it. That is it. Full time. West Brom win 2-1 and 5 episodes in. And still no victory in the live com. Ah, oh, that was annoying. And yet again, Barini's miss penalty costing us. We would have been 2-0 up in that game. And that would have been absolutely crucial. And uh, another defeat. And well, um, what more can I say? It's just... Stephen Pienaar, 
is injured now. He's 34 years old now. That's quite surprising. Um, let's have a look at set pieces. Can we go on uh, defending set pieces, perhaps? Uh, corners. Defend. There we go. Um, Leslie attacking one. Uh, yeah, I really, I really don't know what all this does. Um, so apparently that what what's these? <coughs> yeah, we need we just need a zonally mark. This is this is a problem. Uh, six yard box so. Um, I don't know. Man mark. Mark tall guys. Um, yeah, just just difficult. It, it is. Um, I'll, I'll probably have a look at that between episodes. But let's have a look at when we're going to come back. Uh, obviously, the since the Swansea game in episode three. We've only actually won three games, so I think our job is under pressure, and we'll be coming back, uh, probably not in, Fe well, maybe February against Arsenal, I don't know, but uh, more likely is coming back in March against Stoke. So hopefully you, mm, or should we come back for the Middlesbrough game? Yeah, why not? We'll come back for the Time Tees, not the Time Tees Derby, the We Are Tees Derby, uh, and that'll be in the next episode. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Please leave a like down below if you did. You don't have to, of course, but mean love for me and for the channel, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.